stay cool. Final score tonight, the Supersonics defeat the Knicks in an afternoon game. 108 to 98, time for our key performer, Sean Kemp. Remember, from Key Bank, America's first choice. And take a look at some of Sean Kemp's numbers. 25 points, 13 rebounds, 7 of 14 from the field, and one big jam, 11 of 14 from the line. And great defense on Patrick Ewing. Let's go courtside right now with MJ standing by with the rain man. All right, thanks a lot, Kevin. And Sean, great game tonight. You seem to thrive. Last year you had a great game, rebounding, scoring in New York. Tonight another strong performance. You like playing here, don't you? That's the thing, you know, uh, they're so physical that they uh, they beat you up a little bit, make you get some rebounds inside, and uh, make you loosen up a little bit. So I got a chance to get out and run early, got some free baskets, got the opportunity to pass, and uh, felt good out there today. What about the electricity of playing in the garden? Is that is this a favorite place for you to play? Yeah, it's one of my favorite places to play because we only get a chance to come out here once a year. Uh, you know, the fans are here, and uh, the guys here in, uh, on our team get excited about coming to New York because it's such a physical team and uh, they beat us there in Seattle this year. They play physical with us there. So we just want to come back and return the favor. It looks like you're looking to shoot the jump shot a little bit more over the last two or three weeks. That's something by design that you're doing offensively. Yeah. You know what I've done is since I came back from my foot injury is try to shoot the ball from the outside to try to open up the drive a little bit. Uh, you know it's kind of tough to go into the playoffs when you're just playing inside the paint. So I think the jump shot will give me a chance to uh, loosen up a little bit and not get out the double team instead of playing in the double teams in traffic all the time. Uh, just get out of there and uh, create some other options. And this is the second year in three years you guys have won 60 games. Describe what that must feel like as a player. Oh man, I tell you what, we was at breakfast this morning. We talked about that, just coming out, being relaxed and playing the game and getting number 60. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean a whole lot as far as it's when it's all over and said, but uh, as a team, it tells you that your team is playing together. It's hard to do. You know, not too many teams can come into the NBA and win 60 games uh, three years like we've done in the last past five. And you have. You guys have played terrifically again this year. Nice, strong performance by you. Thanks for coming out and joining us. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right, Kevin, back to you. <laughs> oh, we got the, oh, the it's the glove. The glove is here too. Good, good game tonight for you. Uh, ball and uh, Sean, you know, uh, gave us a good boost. So we just got to keep this up and just keep playing basketball. Yeah. Now, now talk about this game in the second half. Seems like the Knicks tried to play you guys a little more physical yeah, than they did in the them. first half. Yeah, they tried to get after us. You know, we went up by 12, and you knew they was gonna come out and do that. But we had to stay, uh, stay with them. I got a couple of tag. Uh, I got a tag, Sean. I got a tag. We got to do that to keep our team motivated. So that's what we did. And you know, they didn't uh, match us too well, and we came out and did what we had to do. Well, great performance by both you guys. I got the glove and the rain man. This is a treat for the Seattle fans. All right, All right KC, here. good job. Yeah, right Tell you what, you roll back uh, the clock with Sherman and Peabody uh, back to 1979. You put Marcus Johnson out there with Peyton Hawkins, Detlef Shrimp, Sean Kemp. Who, Lord! <laughs> You'd be lighting them up. Sonics 49% shooting, 38 of 78. The Knicks 35 of 84, 42%. The Sonics 22 of 27 from the line. And, and really, the Sonics uh, from the line. Uh, did what they had to do in the third quarter because the shooting went south. They hit only 6 of 22 from the field in the third quarter, but from the line they were 9 of 10, and they kept the Knicks at bay. They led 88-82 after the third quarter of play. That, to me, was a real key in the third, the way they were composed, shot the free throws, and then came out in the fourth quarter and put the clamps down. Rebounding, Seattle just absolutely dwarfed the Knicks in that category, 49-33. The Sonics 19 turnovers, the Knicks with 18. And again, the Sonics match the intensity inside and the great perimeter shooting. 10 of 20 shooting uh, for the Sonics from uh, three-point range. And the Knicks, who love that three ball, 11 of 21. 25 for Kemp, 13 rebounds. It was an 11-rebound afternoon for Irvin Johnson. Detlef Shrimp, 24 points, eight boards, six assists. Good quality basketball team with a lot of experience, recognizes when they can go to certain fellows, when they got to give them a breather. It was Kemp and Shrimp first half and the second half. It was a it was a different crew. It a little was bit of several individuals. Percy Hawkins with a quiet 20 points again tonight. The great defensive job against Patrick Ewing. He was five for 21. But Gary Payton, another solid performance, even though yes. he's not scoring in the 20s like he does a lot of times. Nine assists, did a great job distributing the basketball, and then his usually solid defensive job. So I like the way Gary's playing. He's got a nice feel for the game. When he needs to score, he's looking to be aggressive. If, if he sees Delph and Shine and Hersey getting off, then he defers to those guys. Sonics win their 60th. They have six games remaining on the season. This club is talking about 65. That's three home, three road games remaining. One, of course, in Denver at the end of the year. And then, of course, the two on the road to Texas, San Antonio, and Houston. Sacramento coming up on Wednesday. 
from a mathematical standpoint, it certainly is possible. They're playing just great basketball at this point. Yeah, playing at an, at an exceptionally high level, but this Texas swing will be the true yeah, test. If they be. can get one out of those two, then they have an excellent shot of, at achieving their goal. Oh, this is, uh, this is exciting stuff and a good time to be a Sonic fan, huh? 60 victories on the year. We'll see you Wednesday back at home in the Sonics meet. The Sacramento Kings will have it for you on you here in a moment. Our thanks to a fine New York City crew from our